Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Have you always admired that clean, stock-like, and smooth experience of Motorola phones? A big part of that is their launcher, the Moto App Launcher. It's simple, fast, and has that cool Google Discover feed on the left. Well, today, I'm going to show you how to install that very launcher on almost any non-rooted Android device. But, and this is a big but, there's a catch. This method is not guaranteed to work on every single phone or custom ROM out there. As you'll see in a bit, I ran into some problems myself. So stick around to see what happens. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is download the Moto Launcher APK file. I'll leave a safe and direct download link for the file I'm using down in the description below. In this list, find the app you use to download the file, which is usually your browser like Chrome or your file manager app. Tap on it and simply toggle the switch that says allow from this source. Great, now that we've given permission, let's install the launcher. Open your file manager app and go to your downloads folder. You should see the Moto Launcher APK file there. Just tap on it. You'll get a pop-up asking if you want to install this application. Tap on install. It should only take a moment. Once it's done, you can tap done. Now, to make it our default home screen, just press your home button. Your phone will likely ask you which app you want to use. Select Moto App Launcher and tap on Always. This will set it as your default launcher. Okay, so here's where things get interesting. As you can see, the app is installed. I can see it in my default apps list. But whenever I try to actually use it, watch this. And the screen goes black. It completely crashes. It just won't run on this ROM. Every single time I touch the screen, it force closes. I even tried this on a completely different phone with a different version of Android, and I got the exact same result. It installs fine, but it's unusable. However, that doesn't mean it won't work for you. It might work perfectly on your specific device and Android version. This is more of an experiment. If this video helped you understand the process or you found it interesting, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.